there are two very good news now. One is that you are doing this, but we know that you are doing the Serpentine Pavilion, and you, you have a project of Contemporary Art Museum also in Alula, in yes. Saudi Arabia. So, uh, could you speak first about the project for the Serpentine? Yes. Uh, the Serpentine, yes, the Serpentine Pavilion is a fantastic project actually where you're able to set a time apart and prove how delightful architecture could be in our daily life. It's an open pavilion for everyone and it's really about togetherness, about bringing people around the same table to share uh, moments, to share meals, uh, to share, uh, to dialogue and maybe to think differently our relationship to the future. So I entitled the, the pavilion a table, which is you know the, the French way of uh, of asking your uh, children to come around and gather. And that moment actually is really a great one, where we dialogue with our children, where we talk, we educate, and we transmit, and we talk about culture, and we also through eating think how climate beings we are because through what you eat uh, you really define your relationship to earth so this is symbolically uh, what I wanted to create in this pavilion there's a like concentric table where everyone gets together and sit either it's like a daily like on a daily uh, you know walk in the park you just sit meet your neighbor talk or it's a festive moment where all of us are like surrounded and talking or conferencing and one of the things also about this pavilion is like a hoovering roof that is floating that talks also about these structures that you could see uh, in Africa, or for example, in Mali and uh, like the Dogon people, they meet uh, like the elderly of a village actually, they meet in these uh, low structures, they sit uh, under these structures until they reach important decisions. And the idea of really being seated under one roof, uh, one place, is an invitation for uh, also again uh, togetherness. Mm. And what about the material of the pavilion? So as it's a like, temporary pavilion, but it's also meant to be uh, an assemblable, disassemblable, I really wanted this <laughs> pavilion to be the most low carbon uh, possible. And uh, so one of the great materials that is a lightweight material that has a great embodied carbon to it is uh, wood, wood like wood. So the whole pavilion is built with wood structure. Mm -hmm. And it's really like uh, the simple element, which is this kind of uh, spanning beam that is anchored with two columns and that is arrayed and kind of constitute this organic uh, presence of the pavilion itself. So, uh, and, and how do you, you know, know, use the least resources possible? So it's really all with wooden uh, structure, very lightweight, has the little foundation possible. And the shape of it really echoes the uh, canopies of the trees surrounding. So you have this concave structure that is really kind of uh, uh, forming the shape, uh, the flower shape of the pavilion. What about Alula, the Contemporary Art Museum? It will be a museum dedicated to locals, the three C's, you said. Yes, the three C's. So building a contemporary museum in Alula is about also questioning what a museum institution is actually and what role a museum can play in, in such a great landscape and uh, a place that is really about agriculture because the, the museum... Agri would, agriculture? Yes. So the, 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 the site of this museum is really part of an agricultural landscape and what we maybe more broadly call like a cultural landscape and the question is how do you integrate culture with agriculture and how do you through the museum uh, retie our relationship to earth uh, to uh, the nature and to how productive uh, nature can be also so it gives a complete different outtake into art and creativity and uh, a kind of retying our relationship to, uh, to to that context and this pristine uh, landscape in which it sits so it's and when shall it be achieved? 
I hope as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, always projects. Uh, I started with a museum and my practice. It took me ten years to achieve that project. It was forty thousand square meters, a very political project. It really had a great, um, you know, significance for the country. It was Estonia at that time. Uh, but I hope that this. Uh, I hope it will have a shorter span, and I'm, I, I'm sure it will. But one of the things that is very important for me for this project is how do you build with local resources? Earth is really uh, like a precious material locally. So building again with earth, developing local, uh, you know, know know hows, uh, like also thinking in a much more sustainable way. Taking the time to do things also is very important. But uh, so you didn't tell me when we we can expect it. I have no idea yet about the date, but hopefully, like within the coming five years, this okay. is a bit like the span. Generally. And what about the art inside? How do you prepare the space for the art? Yeah, well, well, uh, in, as such, the landscape around is also an art in itself, you know. So the building is really a series of pavilions that mm -hmm. are opening to the landscape, ah. uh, like framing the the agriculture in one side, framing the wonderful mountains and the sediment sedimentation of uh, of earth that is uh, all around, and at the same time containing like artwork, regional artwork. So we're talking about uh, the. Uh, what we, we, we call the, the three seas, so uh, the Mediterranean, uh, the Red Sea, and really developing like this relationship. What What is the meaning of art in this region? You know, in, in such, uh, for example, in Lebanon, I grew up in Beirut, art plays an important role to re reconnect with what had happened at different events and traumatic events of Beirut. It allows us to voice out uh, like uh, problematics, to be critical in certain ways and systems. So art really plays a vital role in constructing culture. So, and that's what the museum will do, is really kind of uh, reweave its connection to, to the, its environment, but also allow art to be a critical tool to, to develop community, like relationship between the communities and open up uh, to uh, diversity and pollinization also with all the the interest of different communities that will visit that place as well. So we are waiting for that. And so now just we are in a, we are in Venice right now at the it's the architecture biennial. So you you seem familiar to the curator of the biennial. Yes. So what what do you think she brings to the world of uh, the architecture? I think it's a very much needed diversity. We really uh, need to uh, to learn from each other. We need to learn from the different geographies in which we are and how we are. Each one of uh, us as architects and different creatives in the world are producing architecture differently. So uh, that's that's very important. I haven't seen yet the show, but I'm really so excited. But you know her, right? Yes, yes. I and what 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 do you expect from her? I think I expect from her to, uh, to, to show us the nuances of uh, the, the voices of the future and uh, if we're talking about the African continent, like how uh, the diversity of such a, a territory also, how do, how do we see that in, in the architecture and in, uh, in what is shown in the Biennale? Merci beaucoup. Thank you.